Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on the Casio FX CG50 Search a list of features using catalog. I'm going to show you how to browse the features that are available on the FX CG50 using the catalog function. If you go to run matrix from the menu and then press shift and four, you'll access the catalog. Now you'll first be presented with a list of the shortcut functions, which we can search but we're going to come back to this a little bit later in the video. I'm going to show you the catalog menu and the features listed by category. If you press F6 for cat, you can see that the features available on the FX CG50 are broken into categories. We've got calculations, statistics, graph, and so on. It's quite an extensive list. I'm not going to go through them all in this video, but I'll leave you to browse those for yourself. Let's just go into one. Let's just choose two calculation. Well, what will be housed here will be all of the features on the FX CG50 that are related to calculation. You can see matrix, complex number, function analysis, and so on. Let's just select one of these, uh, three function analysis. And we can see here we've got an extensive list of the features, solve calculation, first derivative, second derivative, and so on. So let's have a go. Let's say we wanted to solve a function. We can, solve, we can choose solve fx function. And you might notice that that's brought up solve n. Well, if we'd have selected that from the shortcut menus using the F buttons, we'd have just had solve n, but you can see a more broad description of what the feature actually does from the catalog menu there. So for example, we can solve x squared minus three equals 13. And we get the warning that more solutions may exist. Let's exit. And then we've got our solutions here, negative four and four. So let's return to the catalog, have a look a bit further into this. So shift and four. Let's press F6 to go back to the categories. Let's go to calculation again. And let's go down to probability distribution. And with this, I'll show you where you need to be slightly careful. So. Here we're going to choose combination. Now, when I first searched for this, I was looking for NCR, so it'd be listed as NCR, and this is actually the NCR feature. It's just listed as combination. So you do have to have some knowledge about the way in which what you're looking for is labeled or named in the catalog. So if I press a combination here, then all it does is, well, uh, as I haven't put anything in at first, I've just got the list answer that's been brought up, and then I've got C for the uh, combinations. So really what I need to do is to delete that and then put in some numbers here. So uh, say I've got an N of eight and then I'd have the C and then let's say my R is three, eight C three, well that's 56. So if I'd have written my N in first, if I'd have written the N eight in first, then I wouldn't have got that uh, list answer. I'd have just got then the C for combinations. So it's just getting used to uh, the way that uh, the calculator works there and how you're going to bring up the feature that you want. Let's go back to catalog and have a look at this search feature then. So if we press shift and four and press F6 for catalog again, and then press one for all, well, we can search all the features that are listed here from this screen. Well, let's say we wanted to find lowest or least common multiple if I input L here, so that's this button, you can see L listed in red for the alpha function. Well, the first one that's come up is LCM. So that would be the first alphabetically. You can see some of the other features that start with an L listed below. So if we press execute there, well, we've got LCM. Let's say we wanted to find the lowest common multiple of 12, eight and nine. We'll close that, execute, and then that's 72. So you can see how easy that was to find there. I'm not sure off the top of my head which shortcut that's in, uh, but I know that if I go to catalog and press L, then I can quickly get what to what I wanted, which was the lowest common multiple. Let's try that one more time with one more feature. Let's go for binomial probability distribution, and then I'll show you how layered that is in terms of uh, the shortcut menu. So if it's shift and four back to catalog, We've got our search bar open again, so let's press B for binomial. And it's not listed first, so what we can do, we can input the second letter, I. And we've got binomial features that are available here again alphabetically. And we want binomial PD, so let's just scroll down and select that. 
And let's say we want the distribution for heads on a fair coin. Uh, let's say we throw the coin three times got a probability of 0.5 for heads and you can see the distribution laid out here 0 heads 0 0.125 1 head 0 0.375 2 heads 0 0.375 and then all three being heads 0 0.125 so we've got all the probabilities there listed for us now let me show you where binomial PD is buried in the shortcut menu well I'd have to press option and then F5 for stat and then F3 for distribution, and then F5 for binomial, and then finally F1 for binomial PD. Now you tell me, which do you think was the easiest way to access that feature? Now I appreciate that some people are very familiar with the shortcut menus, and some of the features are not buried as deeply, so they're much more obvious. If, if you're anything like me, sometimes I find it difficult to remember where these things are located. Well, the catalog feature is very useful in that case because you're able to look and search in there either by category or if you know the name of the shortcut function, then you can search alphabetically in the all list there. So that's another option for you. Obviously, you're free to use the uh, function buttons and browse the shortcut menus they're still available but if you're not sure you can always go to catalog and have a look in there and search for what you need so there we go the catalog function i hope that helps out don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time on the calculator guide